I did my undergraduate in, in my native country, Turkey, at Bosphorus University. I did my master and PhD in Switzerland. Then I did my postdoctoral research at UC Berkeley and Lawrence Berkeley National Labs in the United States. And two years ago, I moved to Israel. I'm a PI at the Weizmann Institute. I'm an experimental researcher. My research is on the physical properties of materials and the chemical processes happening on these materials, on the surface of the materials, so it's called surface science. And we are interested in the surface properties of materials because the surfaces are the interface of materials with the surrounding. This can be gas, liquid, or any other material. These properties are important in a lot of fields, like in catalysis, which are the workhorses of chemical production. Actually, the catalytical reactions are always happening at the solid gas interface. Or electrochemistry, for instance, the batteries, the reactions are happening at the solid liquid interface. So there are a few catalytic and electrochemical reactions that we are interested in. I'm just going to use one as an example, the conversion of carbon dioxide. As you might know, carbon dioxide is a big of an issue right now because of global warming. Basically, it's absorbing infrared light and it's warming the lower atmosphere of Earth. So one of the topics that we are interested in is conversion of carbon dioxide to alcohols, which you can use actually fuel for onboard generation of hydrogen in, in vehicles. Of course, this is both an economical and a societal challenge. According to the United States Department of Energy, the biggest roadblock in converting CO2 is the lack of suitable catalysts. And if we can understand the processes happening on the surfaces, then we can help the iterative design of better catalysts. We have this group of techniques that we call spectroscopy techniques that give us chemical information. And we have another group of techniques that we call microscopy techniques that gives us very high resolution, like atomic resolution. So I would like to actually combine these two and I would like to get chemical information at the very small scales, almost atomic scales. What is unique about my lab is that we use a combination of these techniques under real conditions or under industrial conditions where they are used. And we are also constantly improving these techniques further to get better resolution and better accuracy in our measurements. Weizmann Institute is one of the top uh, research institutes, not only in the Middle East, in the world. So Weizmann Institute was the driving force that made me move to Israel. I hope my research will contribute to the conversion of CO2 to useful products and other important chemical reactions. <laughs>